So it's time once again to come back to the right hand rule for the magnetic force on a current carrying wire. We figured out our equation before to get the magnitude, or we could use the cross product. But if we find the magnitudes, we still have to find the direction using the right hand rule. And just like we had a right hand rule for individual charges moving in magnetic fields, there's one for current carrying wires, which is very similar. If I go back to my conceptual view, we want to remember that the current is defined as the direction opposite that the electrons are going. It's as if it was positive charges flowing in that direction. Now when we looked at our conceptual view, we described it in terms of the force on a negatively charged particle moving in the negative direction. But now we want to describe it just in terms of our current. Well, one of the big standard accepted rules, the, one of the biggest ones that's used here, sort of looks like this. Your thumb doesn't represent the velocity of the charged particles anymore, it represents the direction of the current. And so whether we look at that at the hand or we look at it in terms of the wire, your thumb is going to point along the wire in the direction that the current is flowing through. Our four fingers still represent the direction of the magnetic field lines, and we want to keep those nice and flat with where our thumb is. And once again, the palm of the hand is going to point in the direction of the force on that wire. So we've got our current, our magnetic field, and our force at right angles to one another. Here's just another example showing you from another perspective. Again, your fingers are pointing along the direction of the magnetic field. And your thumb is pointing along the direction of the current. And one of the nice things about this particular diagram is it's reminding you that that doesn't have to be at a right angle. There can be some angle theta there in between the magnetic field and the direction of the wire, which has the current flowing out along your thumb. You just need to make sure that you've got it in a nice flat plane. And then the palm will once again show you the direction of that force vector. You're still going to need some practice, so take a look at the next video clip, which gives you a several different examples of using your right hand to figure out the direction of the force on a current carrying wire.